Hi everybody. This is my devotion for today. I want to get it started. I've been making excuses about not having makeup on or not being ready to be camera ready for you guys. And um, I got to stop making those excuses. I got my hair up today um, and it just is what it is. So I love you guys and I hope that uh, you will enjoy this and hopefully I'll be able to branch it out and make it a little bit more than what it will be right now. Uh, but I read something last night in a devotion book that I got this devotional book. It's called God Moments for Women, and I'm pretty sure Issa gave it to me. I know one of my um, YouTube sisters gave it to me, and I think it was her. And thank you, Issa. And I was re I've been reading it because the devotional book that I had been reading for a while, I um, finally finished it. So but this is really good, and I wanted to share it with you all. This is going to be kind of short and sweet, um, but I do wanted to pray as well for you guys, and uh, I have a prayer, so I'm going to have to find that prayer in a minute. It's it's a, a prayer that was already uh, written up, but it was a really good prayer that I wanted to pray over everybody that is watching. Um, anyway, let's get started. This is called Advice Givers versus Work Doers. Um, like apples of gold in settings of silver is a ruling rightly given. This is Proverbs 25, 11. You know her. The woman has advice about literally everything. She always knows a better way of doing things than you. She has advice for you on marriage, parenting, jobs, ministry, and even on how to wear your hair. The thing is, the woman who knows the best way to do things, but never actually does things herself, probably doesn't know what she's talking about. It takes expertise, which means trying, failing, and trying a different way to know the better way to do something. So, as old Mr. Franklin said, well done is better than well said. Well done gives you the right to be heard and the experience to speak from. When you want advice, go to someone who has walked with God for a while and who has actually done the thing to need advice on. This is so good, y'all. That will be the best advice you can get. Well done is better than well said, was said by Benjamin Franklin. And I just really liked that uh, this devotional book has been really, really good. I appreciate it so much. I have another one that I'm reading out of every day. It's called 30 Devotions on Loving, I think is what it's called. And I thought I picked it up, but I didn't. Sorry. And it is from Love and Faith, I think is the name of the company. Um, Love and Faith. Uh, they have t-shirts and the um, sweet lady name. Uh subscriber and friend named Linda sent it to me and Linda Joseph and she sent me this box that had two t-shirts that I love and I wear them all the time and these devotions um, and this one is 30 devotions on loving others from the Bible box and I have been going through this one every day as well and the website is www.11faith.life Anyway, I didn't want to make that a commercial, but I just wanted to tell you where I got that devotion from in case you were interested. Anyway, she sent it to me, and I've been reading out of that one as well. And uh, I'm going to turn my computer on while I'm talking, so maybe I won't have to edit and get this uh, prayer up. But anyway, I wanted to uh, just say that I thought that devotion was so good because there are a lot of people who are always trying to give you... Um, advice in this world. A lot of times it's unsolicited advice and I don't always appreciate it unsolicited advice, but I need to learn to appreciate it more. Um, but a lot of times it is from people that, uh, maybe are not going through what I've been, what I'm going through or, um, you know, uh, that they're not going through exactly what I'm going through in my life. So I, I have people that I believe that I'm accountable to uh, in my life. My mom is one of them, and I have some other friends that I'm accountable to. And those are the people that I usually ask for advice or someone that I know for a fact has been through what I've went through. Um, if you're trying to know how to get through cancer, you're not necessarily going to go through to somebody who has never been through cancer. But you could go through somebody who's had another illness that was possibly a deathly illness. Um, 
but somebody who's been pretty healthy all their life, uh, they can tell you how they're being healthy, but not necessarily tell you how they beat a disease that they were going through. You understand what I'm saying? Anyway, I don't want to lab on. I just wanted this to be really short and sweet today, but I do appreciate you guys watching and listening, and I will try to be a little bit more organized in the future with my devotions and, and the things I want to talk about. I do want to re-record my cancer journey video uh, one of these days when my hair looks better. <laughs> But I'm crafting today because I have a craft. Um, we'll be setting up a craft booth this weekend. So I've been to the Dollar Tree and now I'm crafting. And I have quite a bit that I'm working on um, because I want to have a nice little uh, inventory for uh, Saturday. And today's Thursday. And so I have tomorrow and Saturday <laughs> or tomorrow and Friday to get ready for it to finish uh, the stuff that I want to show. And so um, I'm working on that. And still looking for some kind of summer job. Um, have not found one yet. It's very discouraging. I'm trying not to be discouraged. I had a really sweet um, sister in the Lord uh, purchase a couple of my craft items yesterday and I went and picked them up. She knows who she is. I don't know if she watches my channel or not, but thank you if you are. And um, I had mentioned to her that I applied at this store that I go to all the time here and how discouraged I was that it sounded like they were going to call me and put me on the schedule and I've not heard from them. And she said, don't get in God's way because if you go ahead of him and try to rush the situation, it could just make it worse. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. So it's been hard. And I know I've asked you guys to pray for me to get this part-time summer job. I'm doing okay. Uh, I got paid today. Uh, teachers aides do get paid in the summertime. Thankfully, I did get paid today. I just need that extra money, like Dollar Tree money. But mainly, I'm going on a vacation in July. And I need money for my vacation to, you know, for vacation money. Um, and so, yeah, it's the vacations paid for except for the luggage fees and I think the hotel in Houston. Plus I have a lot of doctor's appointments. So I have a lot of stuff that just normally I would not be doing. So I got this tube taken out of my ear, um, Monday. Yes. I got the tube taken out of my ear Monday from the ear doctor, but I have to go see him again in three weeks for him to tell me if I can go snorkeling during my vacation. And I have a regular doctor's appointment Monday with my regular doctor. And then I see my oncologist, um, who I see an oncologist. I have two of them. I see one of them twice a year. And one in Houston once a year and one in uh, close by once a year. That was the one that was over my um, radiation. So, and it, it's not cheap. Those are not free and they're unexpected expenses. And so those are the, I mean, it's just those things that I need. The Don't need a whole lot of extra money. Don't even have to work full time. But I know that there is a reason God has not had me working and um, he knows what's going on and he knows why. And so I'm doing my very best just to trust him because he knows my needs and he knows and for maybe he wants me to rest and maybe he just wants me to craft and spend time with my mom. And we have a dog that I don't, I don't think I put this out there. But my um, Chloe, uh, my oldest Shih Tzu is 13, and last week we had to take her to the vet, and she has a kidney stone and a bladder stone, and we had to get her some medicine that the doctor gave us. Uh, no, he didn't get the doctor didn't give it to us. We had to pay for it. My mom did. Um, but there's an antibiotic we have to give her every day. We had to take change her over to a science stop prescription dog food, and uh, she got a shot. So she has been doing better, but yesterday she kind of had a little setback where she wasn't eating and she wasn't walking around much. She seems like she feels a little bit better today, thankfully. <coughs> Excuse me. And so... Plus, we have a new puppy, which y'all definitely know about. So, um, maybe Mont, you know, maybe God's had a reason why he's wanted me home the last couple of weeks. Maybe he knew I was tired from the school year and I just needed the rest. Um, 
I may be out Uber driving, sitting, not Uber driving. What do you call it? Door dashing soon. Because <laughs> I did sign up to be a door dasher. I just haven't done it yet. So I may be door, door dashing uh, the whole month of July between or next, next week and the rest of the time off between the vacation just to make the money. But whatever I got to do. So um, I really didn't want to do that. I didn't feel comfortable, but I may have to. So you got to do what you got to do. Uh, but God knows my needs. And I am trusting him. So, um, and it's not like I can't pay my bills because I can. Um, I, I do have make enough money with what I make at the school to pay my bills. Thank the Lord. It's just that extra money, um, you know, not splurging extra money, that just that extra money I need to go on vacation. And because, you know, it, we'll need to eat while we're there <laughs> and put gas in the rental car. Um, that kind of thing. <laughs> the beach might be free, but food won't be. Um, and we, we did get a hotel that has a, a free breakfast, which is good. And we normally will like go to the grocery store and pick up snacks and like stuff to make sandwiches or something like that. Veggies, my friend Dina that I'm going with eats lots of vegetables and stuff. We'll probably pick, pick up that and put it in some kind of like throwaway cooler and take it with us to the uh, beach and keep stuff cool and snacks to eat on and we probably will just eat out for supper every day unless for some reason we're out shopping and happen to run you know be out at lunchtime but if we're just at the beach which I haven't told you where but yeah you knew we were, you knew I was going to a beach you did um but I haven't told you where because I'm so excited I wanted to keep it as a secret. So anyway, um, but we, you know, we'll take snacks with us uh, so that we're trying to just eat one meal uh, a day out. And, um, but there'll be some lunches that we'll have to eat. Um, we're driving up the day before, we're driving to Houston on a cheese day because I have a doctor's appointment with my oncologist. And then we will be spending the night in Houston because our flight's very, very early Wednesday morning. And so we will stay in Houston that night since we will already be there for my doctor's appointment. And we'll have somebody drop us off at the hotel. We'll take the hotel shuttle over to the airport and go from there. And then somebody will come pick us up when we come back on Sunday. It's Wednesday through Sunday. So uh, somebody will come pick us up from the airport on Sunday. And so hopefully that day we'll get to check out the Dollar Trees in the Houston area before we come home. And I've already found three Dollar Trees close to where we're going and uh, to the beach. And we'll be picking it. I'll be checking out at least one or two of those while we're there. I won't be able to pick up very much, but I can definitely take pictures and do a walkthrough. And, uh, but I won't be able to pick up a whole lot because you just got to go in that suitcase to go on the airplane. And you know, you can only have so much weight on your suitcase. So uh, in your carry-on bag. So, anyway, but if I see something that I just can't live without that's hard to find, y'all know I'll pick it up. But anyway, sorry about the chit-chat. This was supposed to be about my devotion, but hey, I know you guys will will give me grace on that one. But um, here's the prayer, and I'm going to put my glasses on so that I can read it. And so, this is what I'm praying over you guys uh, today, over my subscribers and anybody else who's watching. Uh, dear Lord, please fill me with your spirit, peace, love, and joy, and fill the, anyone who is listening right now with peace and love and joy and with your spirit. Help us to love others as you love us. Help us to be patient, kind, compassionate, and not e easily angered or offended. Uh, help us to show the same grace and mercy to others that you show us. Please give us wisdom to know when to speak, when to remain silent, when dealing with difficult people and situations. May I glorify you in all that I think, say, and do. In Jesus' name I ask these things. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. And remember that I love you and God bless you too. Bye-bye.